Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my wow. gosh. Oh my gosh. Pick him up. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, welcome to July's episode. Right here where I'm standing is where the biggest buck of my hunting career fell last year, 184 inch deer. It was a really, really neat hunt. Uh, biggest deer of my brother's hunting career. Uh, we got out of this exact same spot, a 204 inch, just giant, giant deer. Uh, we killed a lot, a lot of really good bucks here. And I, the real reason behind that is because of the geographical lay of how this sits and it's a really tight inside corner. And inside corners are what we're gonna cover in this episode. They're really, really unique. It's something to really look for and it's something that can be really useful to you on your own hunting property. Okay, so we're in the blind where I shot Omega last year. We've got the bedding area back behind me. We've got an ag field uh, straight out in front and off to the right, we've got this travel corridor that runs along the river. So the reason I put the blind here, I put it right, almost right on the riverbank. Um, so that deer can't go behind me. And I hunt this on a north wind so that the wind, so that my scent blows back across the river. Um, and so what the deer do is when they bed back here off to the left, they transition down to this, this inside corner, this, this tight pinch point. Um, they can either go out into the ag field, they can continue traveling on down through this concealed corridor. Uh, and that's something, you know, early season, they're gonna come in, they're gonna treat this as a transition area um, before they, uh, transition staging area, I should say staging areas, they go out into the ag field to eat. Later in the season, once the crops are harvested, the bucks are gonna use this much in the same way, but as a, tra as a concealed corridor. They're not, these old bucks aren't, they don't wanna go out in the open. They don't wanna um, get any more exposed than they have to. So we've got a big doe bedding area back here. We've got a doe bedding off to the right. Um, this is a really, really unique, tight pinch point um, that deer use from the beginning of season um, all year long, honestly. Um, so I'm going to go out here, I'm going to walk this the same way Omega did so you guys can see how they, they treat this. It's a, it's a big area that pinches down, it's got the tight edge on the back side with the river, um, and then the carried on concealed area that the deer travel on um, after the crops are harvested. So my favorite thing about inside corners is it's used, it can be used all season, early season, late season. I'm going to touch on both. So in early season, you know, when these fields still have uh, soybeans or corn or whatever it might be, uh, the food sources of the deer are really pounding. They use these inside corners, particularly in the spot where the timber converges with the ag field in that pinch point as a staging area. And you know, we've all seen it. The, the biggest bucks are typically the last ones to come out. And we hear it, you know, man, he came out right at last light. He came out just after shooting light. I couldn't quite see. Uh, oftentimes, those deer are not far from the food. They're just inside the timber because they've got, they've got cover. They're secluded, they're concealed. They feel safe. Their safety is so key. They're, so they're right there and they're, they're just waiting to come out into the ag fields. So, you know, you're, you can use it as a, as a staging area to catch these deer where they'll mill around, they'll hang out. Um, they're not really doing a whole lot, but they're just waiting until the cover of darkness to come out and, and you know, to feed and do their usual evening routine. Late season, it's gonna be much the same as it was during early season if you have those, you know, the late season food, the grains that the deer need to keep the energy levels up and put, put fat back on. Uh, these bucks are gonna, they're gonna keep much the same, hug these inside corners, use it as safety as they go out to these, to hopefully, you know, your late season food. Um, we came to this spot to really hone in on that because this has worked so well. 
We're gonna take you guys and we're gonna show you how to utilize a trail camera uh, set up over a mineral site because these areas are so uh, highly traveled and it's, you know, they're, they're pinch points, they're areas that you use that have a lot of deer activity frequent through them. So that's what we're gonna go into. So we've got the mineral site behind us. We've got the cell cam put up. Uh, this this particular spot where this corner is at, and something that you guys, re I highly recommend really looking at on aerial maps, um, is you know in the fall we oftentimes have a north wind. You know it's cold days, predominantly a north wind. This is on the, the south side of a bedding area, so the mature bucks are going to run the south side almost all the time. See it just you know bucks are going to run the downwind side they can scent check this whole area when they run on the downwind side uh, for hot does so they're going to they're going to this is a big bedding area they're going to run the south side which is where my blinds at where my camera the minerals at which is uh, going to catch them during the early season um, and they're going to transition right on through to the next bedding area where they're going to hopefully find you know hot does or, or however it might be uh, so that's something to really pay attention with Make sure you, you think about the wind directions, use them in your favor. Um, the buck's gonna use it in his favor, so how for, how, therefore how can you use it in your favor to you know, capture that opportunity at that mature buck. Um, so guys, thanks. I hope this, is, this has really helped you. Um, next month's video is gonna be on fall food plots. That's, that's a really fun time. I got a lot of plots going in the ground. I can't wait to share with you guys um, some tips on how to hopefully improve your fall food plot setup. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.